leggings and stuff. But the only thing you can see is, you know, the overalls. But these are two legendary items that you can get. And then you get a diver suit, which is pretty cool. And this is just a special weapon you can get from doing a certain quest line. Try not to spoil too much. I mean, if I already have spoiled stuff, I apologize. But I just keep some simple weapons here. Or I, I keep some weapons here just in case you know, if there's an attack. And uh, this is kind of like my junk foot locker. And under my bed, there's a safe where I keep some of my most dangerous weapons. And some of my armor as well. Some, you know, some stuff that really can't exactly be out in the open because anybody breaks in my house. Um, and back here is kind of a little secret area considering... Oh, <laughs> whoops. It's kind of a little secret area. Um, some people know what it is, some people don't, like in the settlement. But it's all closed off with concrete, and the only person who can come in here is me. And this is my X01 housing area, my X01 power armor housing area. Um, and I figured, you know, I should do something with the garage, you know, I should have something here. And so I figured, you know, I should have this. Because one day I was just, you know, roaming the wastelands, and I found this. And I'm like, I'm bringing this home. And what's so cool is that it was a full suit of X01 power armor. Because I'm, like, I'm level 81. I think I was 75 at the time I discovered this, and so it was all full. It's just a full suit of excellent power armor. It's pretty nice. So, you know, you got your basic things that you need to repair it and work on it. Toolbox, and uh, tool chest, and all that good stuff. So that's basically my house. And uh, it's about the nicest one in Sanctuary Hills, if I do say so myself. Got a very nice living room. And a very nice front area as well. And roof access, and just so you know, I haven't done anything with that house, um, or that blue house, or that blue house. And really, I don't plan to do anything with them, I just kind of left them out. But here, um, is something that I first built, like one of my major structures in Sanctuary Hills. And this was Marcy in June Long's house. And, um, I didn't say this before, but we actually have house addresses. And, uh, they basically go down, like, this one, 1738, that one, 1740, 1741, you know, and the house right there, or the trailer, I guess you could say, 1742, so. Got a pretty cool system right there. And... June and Marcy, they got a pretty nice deck up here, considering they have a little patio furniture up there. And, um, here is their house. So, looks like they got typewriter, you know, do some typing, some storage over here, a nice dresser, a nice little reading area here with their bedroom. Um, very nice living room, very nice and small and cozy. Then, we've got a small little kitchen here. And uh, a very humble, humble home. Very small and cozy, yeah. I was truly happy with the results once I was done building it. Um, and I just got a few turns here, because there have been a few times where enemies have attacked, and they've just completely wrecked stuff, and I just want to make sure that that doesn't happen again, so I placed three heavy machine gun turrets here, and hopefully that won't happen again. But here is a house that I had to seal off, because it just, I couldn't get any of the walls around it, because remember, Sanctuary is completely surrounded by walls. And, you know, I couldn't have a breach in the walls. So I had to completely seal up this house, unfortunately. And, yeah. So, in my house, I have a bathroom. But for everyone else, <laughs> they have to use this outhouse. 
And, I mean, hey, I built this whole settlement with my own hands, so I think I kind of deserve to have my own bathroom. But just a simple outhouse, bathtub, and toilet. And, you know, you got your bucket out here, some water, or, you know, a water pump that you can use to, you know, wash out the toilet or, you know, make a bath with. And, of course, I have to have that ceiling fan to get the bad odor. <clears throat> Sorry. Get the bad odors out. And here is where we get all our food. Um, and just to show you that the whole entire wall goes around Sanctuary. It's a nice little boxed off section right here. And uh, some of the shrubs and stuff in the bushes are part of the wall. Considering you can't pass through them or anything, I think they're secure enough. But yeah, it basically goes around all the Sanctuary. There's just a little hole in the wall because it can't exactly render, but there you go. It's kind of higher in that section because uh, we don't want people jumping over it, and I'll show you what I mean by that. But here is our greenhouse. Um, this is where Sanctuary gets most of its food. Got some potatoes. This is where we grow our potted plants that you see everywhere and around the houses. Mute fruits. Some gourd. Melons, carrots, corn, some, you know, basic crops. Very nice. And here is our workhouse. And employees only, and cautious, or, you know, caution, hazardous material. Got some basic gardening items, you know, a bag of fertilizer, construction, you know, you know construction items, you know, a bag of cement shovel, a mop, you know, just for clean up, and a lantern, take around when you're doing work at night, some hard hats with lights on them, and then this is where we get our power. This is our fusion generator, and it's what powers all the sanctuary. And, of course, the, you know, workhouse had to be a very protected structure, so that's why I chose concrete for all of it. And, um, you got your hazmat suit, in case you handle anything hazardous. A simple fan to keep things cool. Some water glue, duct tape in case you need to patch something up, and some Abraxo cleaner in case you got a stain on the floor or anything. And this, this is just roof access in case you need to do some maintenance. In this little section right here. And then, let us go down to our watchtower slash little raised shack, but, um, this is a living area, um, as you can see, very, you know, not very basic, but it is basic, nothing fancy, you know, just a rub, you know, some basic lights, radio, some flags, I guess somebody loves the Brotherhood, <laughs> some storage, and person who lives here is on guard duty for our watchtower because this is and you know we've got a turret above of course and this is basically where they watch for you know around the hills and stuff and make sure that nobody is trying to cross the river or attack and yeah let me just show you the extent of the wall it goes from all the way down there to here up on so there yeah now I've had to make it higher in some places because you were you know I was able to jump over it and I'm like realistically had the poor defense you know a poor defensive wall because people just jump right over it so what's the point of even having it and I have a turn here because this is water access for our water purifier so this is where we get all our purified water and you know sometimes we'll have to do maintenance on it and, you know, we have to go out there. So that's why there's a door here. And this is basically the only other entrance into Sanctuary. But, of course, you have to cross the river. And, um, well, by the time you cross the river, you're probably going to be shot by either the turret or the guard on the watchtower. But we got a nice little picnic area down here. There's nothing really up there except the playset. And that's just about it. I haven't done anything with that house right there. Um, 
And of course I've sealed off that house because that had to be part of the wall. And as I was saying, I had to heighten this part of the wall because you could just jump over it. But uh, more continuation of the wall and sanctuary. And just got a simple workbench here and dog in its little dog house. And if you just keep following around, you'll come up, oh, <laughs> come up to the clinic. And you're basically back at square one. And just to show you the extent of the wall, let's see, it goes all the way around here. I had to cover up every gap with concrete walls and the junk, you know, walls and stuff. And, you know, there's my house. That's where I sealed up the holes and the windows and stuff. And it basically just seals off to this yellow house. And, um... got a nice little sitting area here to enjoy the cool nights and uh, I can just put this away because you run faster and you have your weapons away and like I said the wall just goes all the way around into this area right here and uh, go around here and you come back to the front gate and that my friends is my Sanctuary Hills Settlement Tour. Um, ah, yes. And I was going to explain why I boarded up these houses. Basically why I did that is because not, not only was I not going to use them, but realistically, you know, if, some, if you were being besieged or anything, you wouldn't want your enemies to, like, camp out in these houses because that would give them shelter and stuff. And also... Some of these houses are part of the wall, so I ha mainly I had to cover this one up because this was part of the wall, and also you don't want your enemies camping out, you know, just right beside the wall. And, you know, like I said, you don't want to give them shelter, so you have to cover up more of the wall, and yeah, that is basically it. Um, yeah, um, this whole entire settlement build took me about uh, 17 and a half hours to do, especially with all the, you know, prop placing and stuff like that. And yeah, that, my friends, is the Sanctuary Hills tour in Fallout 4. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. And make sure you hit that like button, because I'm definitely going to need it in my early stages of being a very, very small channel. <laughs> Everything helps, guys. Even if you dislike my videos, it still helps. <laughs> but, I'd really appreciate it if you guys did subscribe, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Because I sure know that, uh, you know, <laughs> I really like some good old subscribers. Alright, now I'm just being corny. <laughs> but no, guys, seriously. I hope you did enjoy this video, you know, if you did, subscribe, leave a like, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video, Pyro out.